Hey everyone, excited to be back for this week's edition of Frequently Asked Questions for Commercial Real Estate. In today's video, what I wanna do is talk about something that has been very beneficial for me in building my personal brand, and I think it'd be very beneficial for you as well if you are in fact looking to build your personal brand, and that is, what exactly is a meetup and how do you start one in order to help you grow in the business? And in today's video, we're gonna explain the step-by-step -step process to start your own meetup. Uh, in this case, it'd be a commercial real estate meetup in your local market to become that recognized expert. Now, before we dive into this video, I would really appreciate it if you can like and subscribe to this channel. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and ensures more and more people can hear this message and learn about the many facets of commercial real estate. So now that you've done that, again, we really appreciate it. Let's go ahead and dive right into this video. All right, so just to give you guys some context about my experience with meetups, I started a uh, real estate investor meetup group back in March of 2019. Uh, it was a real estate investor meetup, and we grew it to almost 100 people uh, prior to the pandemic. And you know, we, we shifted online in order to you know maintain engagement, and we were able to pull in speakers from all across the country, people in bigger pockets, and all these other types of uh, really influential real estate investors. Along with that, I also started another meetup called the Commercial Real Estate One on One Meetup, which has been 100% virtual, uh, which we started right in the pandemic, and now we're starting to do some virtual and also starting to do it some in person as well. So I have quite a bit of experience starting meetups and building meetups into pretty decent size. I mean, like I said, the real estate investor meetup group, we started had almost 100 people prior to the pandemic, and now we're starting to build back up. We're almost at 50 or 60 people per meetup right now once a month. So that's the context with which I, I utilize as far as starting a meetup is concerned. Now, what you need to do if you're interested in doing so, because there's a lot of benefits to starting a meetup, in particular when it pertains to your personal brand, uh, through the, the act of starting meetups and engaging with, with people in the community, I've been able to promote myself as a recognized expert. And now more and more people know that I am in commercial real estate and I can help them with their commercial real estate needs. So it would be beneficial for you to start a meetup in your local area. And now we're going to go through the step-by-step -step process on how to exactly to do that. So first and foremost, you have to really pick a theme. Uh, what this means is that you got really got to sit down and say, what exactly do I want my meetup to be about? If you're watching this video, you're most likely some, in some sense affiliated with a commercial real estate industry. So that's probably a pretty good starting point as far as the theme of the particular of uh, that real estate uh, meetup could be. Uh, but let's say that you're in the, you know, you, you want to start an investor meetup. It could be commercial real estate investor meetup. Or maybe, you know, you, you want to target business owners, in which case you could start your local business summit or, or business uh, you know, meetup uh, where you talk about to, to different business owners pertaining to different events uh, or pertaining to different subjects pertaining to their business. So that could be, those are two uh, themes that you could go with as far as your local meetup is concerned. What I did when I first started my meetups was I looked on meetup.com and tried to find inspiration outside of my local market. And I was able to find a few that I thought would be pretty cool and, and I could model my my, my meetups after. So those are, the, those are the ways that I was able to pick my meetup uh, theme. So that's the first thing to do is pick your meetup theme. Number two is to find a venue. Now I've heard a lot of people say, oh, well, it's gonna be hard for me to find a venue that can hold X, Y, Z amount of people and it's probably gonna cost me a, a ton of money to do so. Well, in reality, there's a lot of business owners out there, restaurant owners, cafe owners, even event venues that if you approach them and say, hey, what is your slowest day of the week or the month or whatever? And they tell you, you could say, okay, well, let me host my event on one of those days. In our case, we approached a restaurant owner, asked them what their slowest day was, and it happened to be Wednesday nights, uh, Tuesdays and Wednesday nights, but we just decided to go with a Wednesday night. And we were able to utilize the, their backspace 100% uh, free, and it's a benefit to the owner as well because now we can bring 50, 60, 70 people that are going to eat and drink, uh, you know, everything. And not everything, but you know what I'm saying, that they're going to eat and drink uh, through the restaurant and therefore they're able to generate business through our meetup being there. Uh, so that's one of the things that I would recommend to you is start approaching business owners for cafes, uh, restaurant owners and event, and event venues to see if there's an opportunity there for you guys to host your event at that location. So that's number two. Number three is to start reaching out to speakers. Uh, again, people are going to be coming to your meetup to learn something in particular. Um, so you need to find engaging speakers that can come and speak your meetups. Now to start off, what I typically recommend is to approach people that you already know a little bit because you're going to have to work out some kinks early on. So once you work out those kinks, you can start reaching out to more, you know, uh, different types of speakers uh, that are outside of your initial network. Uh, but that, that's what I, my recommendation would be is, is to find someone that you know, you trust, respect to come in, talk, 
about a particular subject the first or second time. And then after that, you start reaching out to people outside of your, your, your network in order to give them an opportunity to speak in front of a decent group of people. So that's number three. Number four is to foster a community. Again, this is going to take some time to build. The first time we started our meetup, I think the first event we had like 15 people show up and you know, the next meetup was 20 and the next meetup was 25. The next meetup was 35, et cetera. So it just started growing and expanding from there, but that took time and it took dedicated effort to foster a community there. So we, we would engage with all the, the people that would come by. We would remind them about the meetup on a regular basis. We'd post it on Facebook. We'd collect their emails, send them an email reminding them of the meetup. So you, you, you continually foster that community, take an actual interest in the people who show up to your meetups lives, and then try to be that connector to help them with their business and personal goals. So that's number four is to foster community. And then five, as an optional uh, takeaway, if you'd like, uh, you can actually record your meetup. Again, content is king. So if you're able to record yourself delivering you know, either a speech or in the case of a meetup, if you're asking questions of another individual, if you're able to collect responses from that and then post it on Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, YouTube, et cetera, that can help with your reach, that can help with your engagement. And over time, it makes a really big difference. So those are, those, so those are some of the things that you need to consider as you're looking to start a meetup. I really think it is a phenomenal opportunity, especially because most markets don't necessarily have a commercial real estate meetup. So you'd be either a pioneer or you know you could, you could really start and establish yourself as a, a reputable figure within your market. So if you're interested in doing that, please do so. It really is a phenomenal opportunity. If you are local uh, here in the Louisville area, feel free to stop by one of our meetups. We usually have ours uh, the third week at the end, uh, Thursday at the end of uh, the month. So it'd be something for you to consider. If you'd like to go to meetup.com, search the commercial real estate one-on-one -on -one meetup, and you can, you can actually find our in-person meetups. Our first one's going to be next month, actually. Again, if you're looking for uh, real estate within the, the, the Louisville market, you can feel free to reach out to me. My number is 502-536-7315, or you can reach me via email at rafaelgrasantigroup.com. Also, if you're looking, if you're interested in subscribing to the channel, please do so. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and ensures more and more people can hear this message and learn about the many facets of commercial real estate. So thanks again so much for tuning in and we'll see you all next time.